Welcome in, everybody. It's time to talk a little baseball. The boys of summer are back. Coach Mike Jeffcoat joins us now. Depending on what day people watch this, though, it might be cold and it might be rainy or the sun might be shining because that's Florida. But, man, we're glad to have you back. And I know there's a lot of excitement for you in this program coming off a fantastic 2021. You guys win 37 games. You win the GSC. You host a regional. Come just a little bit short of going back to a College World Series. Hope springs eternal, and here we are in the spring. Ready to go? Ready to go, yeah. Um... As you said, last year was a, you know, a great year, um, great run, and that team was really, you know, another one of those teams you put towards the top. And, uh, you know, when you think back about how close they were and how much they gave uh, for each other and the university and just trying to be the best they could be, and they came up short. But, you know, that, like we always talk about, they, they got the most out of what they had, and that team has a legacy here forever. These are some of the strangest times. We've talked about that along the way the last year or two. And, you know, guys get extra years and you can have guys stick around a long, long time. You've got a few on the roster that are, that are doing that, taking advantage. Uh, some familiar names have moved on. As a coach, you get an opportunity to plug in some new faces. And I know you're excited about uh, yeah. some of the talent that you brought. We are. We are. And that was the thing with last year's team. You know, five or six of the guys that didn't come back, Miller, Hancock, you know, I can go through all those guys uh, could have come back, but they had graduated. Uh, they finished on a high note with all the you know hosting and stuff and championship GSC so they just went out on that note and didn't come back but again like you say it gave us an opportunity uh, to bring in some fresh blood um, and we're really excited about it and obviously we had a good year last year and you you know you don't want to talk up the next team compared to last year but we really like this team we're excited. Let's talk a little bit about some of the guys that, that did come back and that you're going to lean on a little bit for their experience and their ability I mean last time we saw a, a Josh Pallad pitch he went out and did some stuff that just – I'm still trying to kind of wrap my mind around his performance. Yeah. Tyler Dowdy, who came in as a freshman and contributed in big ways. Colin O'Shea, obviously. Power Bat in your lineup, who put up some record numbers last year. You've got a few pieces and, and some experienced guys that I know as a coach you lean on. We do. And, you know, like you say, Pallad – uh, coming back for his fifth year, um, other than maybe being in some you know midweek starts, this will be his first year in our rotation. And like you said, he, he you know he made some big strides. He's always had a great career ERA and been very consistent for us. But when you talk about going nine inning against one of the better teams in the country and Lee to get us another shot at Tampa in the regional, uh, I think his confidence shot up and we could see that this year. And he's been a leader. Obviously, Colin O'Shea, tremendous year last year and also has been a leader for us and going to lean on him a lot and Tyler Dowdy you know just asking him to be who he is uh, he's got to continue working hard as the rest of them do but you know um, he's going to give our team a chance he's you know they may put the bat on the ball a little bit but uh, he's shown the same thing he showed us last year and as I told him you know as a sophomore you're not going to fool anybody this year them not knowing you're surprising anybody and you know you got to really grind it out and um, and then you got some other guys in there that have had experience True Fontenot that played a lot of third True's played a lot. True's played a lot for us and um, he's moving over from third to second base and going to combo up with a uh, newcomer, my son, Trent Jeffcoat, um, who's a really good player and he can really run. And we're excited to have him. We're lucky to have him, proud to have him. Um, I think he's proven himself to his teammates uh, that he deserves to play shortstop for us and he's going to lead off. And uh, hopefully his speed will be a catalyst to helping us score a lot of runs. And him and True have done well in the middle. And obviously True's versatility uh, from playing third and second, sure, he can do any of it for us. So uh, we got you know a lot of other guys there. Yeah, and you got some guys that, that played at you know, times and games last year that came in and gave you you know key hit late. You know, they weren't starters, and, and those are guys and the opportunity to rise up. You are replacing your. You mentioned the infield there a little yeah. bit. You're placing your entire outfield. All those guys have all moved on. Going into the outfield, Alden Davis is a fifth-year transfer from South Alabama. He's really shown his maturity and leadership. Uh, Going to play left field for us and get a lot of at bats there. Um, another freshman that's been playing out there with him, Dean Holtz. I think he's had a hit in almost every inter squad this spring. Um, we got to find a way to get his bat in the lineup. He's shown a lot of poise. You move over to center field, you've got um – you know, another new one in Mark Townsend, who's a Stetson transfer, switch hitter, can run. Chris Johnson, another transfer from Polk, can run. Uh, and then another true freshman in Jaden Fryman that has had a tremendous fall and spring. He's going to get a lot of playing time. And Brooks Mitchell that sat out last year but had a solid freshman year before COVID hit. Another left-handed hitter that's going to battle there. Um, you know, and you got Jason Roberts that did a lot of DHing. He's from Pensacola Pine Forest and he's going to pitch a little bit. A lot of guys are going to have to compete for the D 
Reds that need to hit a role because uh, only three can play the outfield. We've got a couple new guys, Josh Brzezina, transfer from Nevada, big 6'4", six, 6'5", six, catcher. You were mentioning him, and I was, I was saying I didn't think he got much bigger than Sam behind the plate. You know, uh, we like him. Travis Gregory, another a true freshman that's had a good fall, been very solid, they got to continue to develop, uh, has looking like he's moving into that number two role. Um, and then Jack Shad, that's a left-handed bat, and, you know, he's probably our third catcher and Mike Scordo that will be in there mixing in as well. Um, but Jack's got to work towards that DH role too, uh, along with Tyler Dowdy. He's a dual role guy. You know, we just got a lot of options there, but we're excited. It'll get started here. You got some home games. I think more home games than away games, which is a good thing. 24 of them. And you start with Florida Southern coming in uh, here on the 4th of February. Uh, you never know what the weather is going to be like, but that's a good team to come in and kind of find out right away. Yeah, I mean, Florida Southern's always got a lot of talent. Um, we didn't get a chance to play them last year because of the COVID, just doing all conference. Um, and they've had our number the last, you know, three, four years. Really, we had this series has kind of gone back and forth. I think we had them about five straight years, and they've had us about four straight years. And we've been able to recover, and it's a great barometer for your team one way or another to, you know, figure out are you playing – your very best and giving your best effort, or uh, is this team just really that much better? And they certainly have a lot of good arms, and they've got a new turnover. They lost a lot of guys from last year that we didn't see, but um, we expect them to be talented, expect them to be another tough test, uh, and then we like those early season tests to help us get ready for what we got down the road. We haven't talked just a little bit about more about pitching, and you mentioned Josh and some of the returners, but you've got some other arms that are ready. Yeah, I mean, we got Sal Ferrara, a new left-hander coming in, transfer from Staten Island, played summer ball uh, with some of our guys and, and as a grad transfer and uh, we're excited about him left-hander uh, we've had a lot of success with left-handers in our rotation in the past and hope he sits in there nicely between Pallad and Tyler Dowdy right now that we've gotten in the rotation you've got you know uh, Brandon Case that's been our closer and um, Sean Means and you know Hunter Lucas Chase Stanhope, you know, Robert Sherlock, all those guys got to elevate their game uh, to help continue to help us. New guys we think that are going to mix in and help us a lot is, um, you know, Dylan Lawson and Jacob Estes and Chase Wilkerson. These guys got great stuff and good arms. Not a lot of big body guys. Uh, Dylan Lawson's a big body guy, but, you know, Chase and uh, Wilkerson and um, Estes are only about 5'10", but they got really good sliders, change-ups, things you need to get people out. So we have the depth, and, uh, again, we just got to see who's emerging. Yeah, Pedro Martinez wasn't the biggest exactly. of guys, but he had some nasty, nasty exactly. stuff. Well, Coach, we appreciate you. Looking forward to the season. We're going to spend a little time next talking with your, your big power hitter, Colin O'Shea. Thank you. Real change occurs in that split second, a moment of connection among people. With a common purpose. A shared vision. And a unified goal. What will you change? What will change you? The University of West Florida. No limits. What does Argo Spirit look like? Is it finding the perfect Argo outfit to show your team pride? Is it giving back while getting your pregame grub? Or is it connecting with your community in the perfect spot? At Penn Air Federal Credit Union, it's being a proud sponsor of UWF Education, the Alumni Association, Athletics, Penn Air Field, and having a spirit of communerosity. Learn more at pennair.org slash about us. Get to spend a little time with the big bat in the middle of the lineup, Colin O'Shea, uh, one of the returners for Coach Jeff Coat, uh, coming off a great season, first of all. I mean, what's it like to kind of come back in and, and look around a little bit in the locker room? And so many of the guys that you spent a lot of time with over the last couple of years are gone. Right, yeah. Uh, we have a completely different locker room, I'd say. Uh, two returning fielders, me and True Fontenot. Um, whole outfield's gone. Yeah, whole outfield's gone. Uh, all my roommates are gone. So I have Miller Hancock. Uh, Justin Dunham and Sam Clement, they're all gone, but I think we have a chance to be better this year. Now that's, that's a big statement because last year's team, I mean, obviously you win the GSC, you get to the regional, you're a win away from going to the College World Series. A lot went right last year. What is it about this group and some of the new pieces that gets you excited? Uh, I'd say our biggest thing is depth. Uh, last year, we were, I'd say we were top heavy pitching. Uh, when it came to the regional tournament, a lot of games in a short amount of time kind of hurt us. And this year, I think we have more depth, especially in the pin. And we, we just have a lot of guys that can really swing it this year. Yeah, and that's, I mean, as much as we saw the bats last year, yourself, Dylan Menennett, guys setting records and doing things, you feel like there's, this team has 
Is, is it a power thing? Is it a contact thing? I think, I think it's a power thing. I think I'm probably going to be hitting two hole this year. So from two to seven or eight, we have guys that are just middle of the lineup type of guys. Uh, Defensively, you're playing first base. I mean, you've been used to the, the two guys that are working up the middle for a long time. Now you got to get used to a little bit, something a little bit different. Yeah, different. How's that going? It's going good. So we got True going to second, and he was at third a lot last year. So uh, he can really play anywhere on the infield. Then we have Trent Jeffcoat going to be shortstop. He's going to be really good for us. He can really move up the middle. So our range up the middle is going to be great. And then we got a new transfer, Preston Moore, going to be playing third base. He's really solid, solid defensively. Can really hit too. What what is it you know when you go into this season? I know you know when you got a lot of new faces that you, you want to temper it a little bit. You don't want to be too excited, but you mentioned right. you think you can be really really good. Is that the goal for this program at this point, coming off what you did last year, to kind of go in and set big goals like let's win the conference and let's get back to where we were? Absolutely. Uh, we do not see this year as a rebuilding year. I know we lost a lot of guys, but we we absolutely reloaded. Um, we have tons of talent, and uh, our goals should be just as big this year as they were last year, if not even bigger. For you, you know, as a baseball player, is there anybody that you look at at the next level or growing up? Is there somebody you kind of modeled yourself after? Uh, I always loved to watch David Ortiz, and he just got inducted yeah. into the Hall of Fame. So, uh, big lefty, and I try to be a big lefty. We'll see how that goes. You, you hit some big poppy-esque home runs on the road. <laughs> I remember a few of them at the conference tournament up there. Uh, and, and then tell everybody kind of, you know, what you're studying, where you are in your studies, when you plan to graduate, and kind of what's the plan for you? Uh, so, I'm a fifth-year senior. I graduate in the spring. I'm doing sports management. And I uh, just actually yesterday got accepted into the NBA program here. So I'll be doing that and hopefully being the GA for the baseball team also. What would you like to do kind of with that down the road? Uh, so business, I feel, is so broad. You know, you can, I'm so young, I don't know exactly what I want to do yet, but it gives me the opportunity to uh, have options. Plus, being a GA has the option with coaching too. So I have both those paths I can kind of work through. The easy answer is make money, yeah, right? Make, make, make a lot of money along the way. Well, good luck to you guys. Start again, starting off on the fourth coming up here with Florida Southern. So come on out to the Spoon, watch these guys play, and look forward to another exciting season. Remember, GoArgos.com is always your spot. You can get the schedule. You can dive into their bios, check the roster, all that good stuff. And then Argo Armada, that app right there on your phone and your devices, allows you to keep up with these guys, get into social media, and follow these guys as well on social media. And we'll look forward to a great season. Good luck to you guys, and go Argos. Thank you. Go Argos.